The last recognition tonight will be presented by a gentleman we are all very proud to, uh, to have with us. Dr. Feridun Hujabri, the founder of Suta, was kind enough to travel from San Diego to join us. He received his master's from University of Munich in 1961 and his PhD in chemi chemistry from the University of Karlsruhe, Germany in 1964. In 1967, he joined the newly established Sharif, then known as Aryameh, University of Technology. He was the chairman of the chemistry department from 1972 to 74 and the academic vice president of the university from 75 to 77. In 1982, he moved to the US. His vision, management skills, and tireless efforts have been instrumental in making SUTA the renowned and internationally recognized organization that it is today. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Hussain. Thank you, Jalil, for the nice, very kind introductory remarks. I would like to take this opportunity, first thank the organizing committee for many weeks that they spent to make this meeting really a wonderful event. Uh, especially Dr. Fariba Arya, President of Suta, Jalil Kamali, uh, and Mr. Hekmat, the President of PSA. Uh, as Dr. Arya said, Dr. Arya and Jalil were in the, actually the first organizing committee for the reunion 2000 and establishment of SUTA. They were both members of the first board of SUTA and I am really very pleased to see them that they are still in the center of activities of SUTA. Uh, there are also many colleagues the faculty members of early years of the university here. I recognize them and thank them for coming and for their support. Ladies and gentlemen, our last recognition this evening goes to two noble persons who could not be here with us tonight. In fact, given the circumstances, we did not even ask them to join. Nonetheless, their spirit is hard to miss around here, as their vision and dedication touched us all and shaped our lives. They never met another, each other, but they were truly the pious men who Sadi told us about. As Dr. Kamali quoted, the ones you could trust them with the hair. Ladies and gentlemen, our last recognition goes to the founders of these two great institutions. Mr. Leland Stanford, along with his wife, Ms. Jane Elise, Eliza Stanford, founded Stanford University in memory of their son, in late 1800 and generously donated their fortune to this noble cause. Their vision made history 
and in less than a century created one of the best universities in the world. In another corner of the world, in Iran, Dr. Muhammad Ali Mushtadi did not have a fortune to build a university of his own. But he believed in the youth of Iran. He was among the first Iranian students sent abroad for higher education. He returned to Iran after completing his studies in France and served the high uh, the education system of Iran for many decades in various positions. Among his novel causes In 1965, he was asked to build a new university and be its first chancellor. The university was called Aryamer University of Technology, what now is known as Sharif University of Technology. He accepted this challenge because it was his dream project. Through his worldwide travel campaign, he managed to assemble a world-class faculty, equipped university laboratories, and attract, and that is the most important of all, and attract the most talented Iranian students. Today, Sharif University of Technology is probably the most prestigious Iranian university in, for science and engineering. Gentlemen, you managed a lot and achieved a lot. On behalf of everyone present in the audience, I salute you both. May many people, especially those who have the means and power, the influential people, follow your footsteps and build when they can, take the steps of reaching out and use the language of wisdom and reason. May the great institution that you built will forever be the center of excellence that they are today. Thank you very much.